Jean Arasanayagam is a major creative voice in Sri Lankan writing in English. Through her writings, she renders voice to the thousands of oppressed people around the island of Sri Lanka. Her poems transport the readers to the civil war where thousands lost their life. She records each and every incident as she too has been a victim through the long years of ethnic war. Being a painter as well as a poet, she gives a vivid picture of the disaster and the suffering of the multitude with the eyes of the painter and poet. Before we proceed to discuss the poem Nallur, let me share a brief bio note of the poet. Jean Solomon's Arasanayagam was born in 1931 at Kandy into a family of Dutch descent with roots in colonial Sri Lanka. She was multifaceted with accomplishments as a poet, painter, short story writer, batik artist and a teacher. Although she wrote her books in English, they have been translated into German, French, Danish, Swedish and Japanese. In 1961, she married a teacher by name Thyagaraja Arasanayagam and started following the Tamil customs. Her marriage in a Tamil family helped her understand the conservative life of the Tamils. Her husband Thyagaraja Arasanayagam and their two daughters Devasundari and Parvati all share the same passion for writing. She won the national awards for her books Apocalypse 83, Bhairava, A Childhood in Navali and Women, All Women and has held writing fellowships at the universities of Iowa and Exeter. Let us have a look at the background and context of the poem Nallur. The economic, social and political consequences of the ethnic war were intense in countless ways across the entire Sri Lankan society. The war had a deep effect on Sri Lankan writers because the conflict has created divisions and the themes connected to the conflict took a prominent role in their writings. People were aware of the terrorism that took place and the wayside bombing that led to many disasters. Thus, the ethnic problem between the majority Sinhalese and the Tamil communities and the civil war resulted in imaginative penetrating output in the field of creative writing where wartime realities were recorded by authors of different ethnic groups. Jean Arasanayagam too powerfully communicates the way in which the nation is territorialized. She gives a vivid picture of the violence that takes place during the war. As part of ethnic community, she highlights the struggles in her collections Apocalypse 83, Trial by Terror and Fusillade. She agrees that 1983 was a significant event in a literary career and a note of urgency and political awareness emerges in her post-83 writings. Her celebrated collection of poetry, Apocalypse 83, first published in 1984, opens with the poem Nallur 1982, with its prophetic vision of the terrible events to occur as a result of the ethnic conflict between the Sinhalese and the Tamils. Nallur is a highly famous temple located in the Jaffna Peninsula and regarded as the heart of Hinduism in Sri Lanka. Through the poem, she invites our attention to the gruesome events that unfolded in the aftermath of the clash. In addition to the serious political upheaval in the riots of July 1983, she also catches the chaos that essentially followed the run up to that uproar in the poem. Because the black July 1983 was just an outburst of years of wrath and cold war between the Sinhalese and the Tamils. 
her premonition of the impending transformation of the national scenario into a battlefield inspired her to write a bold prediction of the impending doom in poems such as nallur 1982 it reveals a dreadful picture of mayhem and bloodshed while examining the devastation of hinduism at the clutches of racial prejudice when it comes to the writing style form and diction the use of epithets and the style of diction in the poem highlights the degeneration and annihilation that war brings within a society tone of the poem is surrounded with negative vibes the powerful wording and the occasional tamil terminology lends a local flavor to the scene under scrutiny the visual imagery of phrases such as leeching bloated swells frothy toddy pots and six faced arumugam all 12 eyes closed in darkness fits very well into the particular context and impacts an imaginary tour of nallur and lends a keen sense of urgency and appeal to the poem the harsh and repulsive vocabulary with a negative connotation can only be seen as a protest that springs out from the bottom of the poet's heart having been a witness to the gory incidents of civil war the poet jean arsanayagam in her poem nallur presents a stark juxtaposition between spirituality and barbarity on the one hand you have the clangor of temple bells that depicts the enormous religious services performed by innocent civilians in the hope of obtaining god's mercy while on the other hand the zing of bullets and cries of death surround the monstrous nature of the chaos the mayhem of the war the bloodshed and all are contrast to the religious happenings that are going on in the temple these represents a conflict between spirituality and barbarity the poet further reveals the gun training at the entrance to nallur thus emphasizing the degeneration that religion faced amidst the chaos the poet exhorts its primary concern that religion is not just to be preached but it is to be practiced too while resorting to various acts which are opposed to the doctrines of the religion people pray that they be saved from the sufferings inflicted by war no religion condones cruelty but teaches that gruesome fights lead to death and destruction people suffer the overwhelming torment as a consequence of their neglect of the virtuous words uttered by the gods nallur a famous temple widely regarded as the heart of hinduism visited by many people is devastated because of war a holy place is filled with darkness which is diverged through the lines the shadow of long bodies shrunk in death the leeching sun has drunk their blood and bloated swells among the piling clouds the poet through her keen observation portrays the bloodshed and massacre that haunts the area the dead bodies have shrunk and the blood that had stained their bodies have evaporated death could be smelt in the air we pray we cry we clamor intensify the magnitude of their attempt in god's protection their prayers are unanswered years of penitence and prayer has put them only in dismay and gloom the ruins of warfare have left them nowhere arasanayagam laments that the gods are blinded by the rain of bullets six faced arumugam all 12 eyes closed in darkness no religion teaches to persecute others human beings do not understand the pain they inflict on others if everyone realizes that love is propagated by religion many lives would have been saved and disasters prevented 
even gods are not in a position to perform miracles irrespective of the number of hands and eyes they possess the land is empty devotees are afraid to go to temple for fear of losing their lives as the mobs target holy places for massacre the place is covered with ashes of burnt bodies arasanayagam cross lights the turmoil and the repulsive process of war and violence the opening lines of the poem nallur it's there shows that the poet is directly pointing at the current atmosphere surrounding nallur whereas the last lines highlight the theme of decadence caused by war it stresses the miserable fate of humans at the grip of brutality